Hello everyone, I am Pyro Falcon, and this is Princess Maker 2 Regeneration, which I received for free from the developer. Over the last few episodes, Neo Tengu has now reached 14. We are chasing a very specific ending that I'm trying not to spoil, and we are already basically there, which I did not guess. Refinement needs to be 200 or more, which it is slightly below. Glamour needs to be more than 200, which it is. Morality needs to be under 29, which we can work on. Sin needs to be either 100 if morality is 0, or more than 250 if morality is more than 0. Our sin is at 284, so I don't really have to worry about morality, other than the fact that it needs to be below 29. So, or it needs to be below 30. Um, so there's a little bit more work we have to do on morality. Fighting reputation needs to be equal to or more than 210. We are well above that. Artistry plus elo eloquence needs to be more than 80 for the best version of the ending, and we are well above that. So the only things we then need to work on is refinement and morality, and maybe maxing out artistry just for the sake of security. Um, didn't mean to go here, but I'll yell at the gatekeeper for a second. Okay. So, we are going to first study the theology course for a month straight. This will get us a little bit more faith. That way we can trade in that faith. Nope, she is not making her debut into society. She is, she is going to do the opposite, Cube, believe me. Anyway, this going to theology class gets us magic defense in case... Uh, we need to... I mean, having a little bit of that's good for when we fight in the Harvest Festival for money. Uh, gaining a little intelligence is good too, but mainly for faith. We want to keep faith high because uh, that way she won't turn into a delinquent. But also we can trade faith for small amounts to get large amounts of several different... Uh, stats. And our main thing we're doing there is we're just trading faith for refinement since we're still below the mark on that one. Uh, that cutscene that, or that dialogue exchange that came up is a rival of Neo Tengu. I didn't catch her name, but she's the fighter rival, which is great because we are going to kick her ass at the Harvest Festival, which is all we need to do. That won't help our morality, but it will cause uh, our. Um, fighter rep to go up and we'll get a ton of cash so that is where we're at now go to the harvest festival and i believe the cooking contest gets harder as you go i don't know about the dance contest i know the art festival kind of doesn't the combat tournament definitely doesn't so because she won once it basically means she's almost certainly going to win every time, as long as we don't have some sort of terrible matchup. And we should be alright. So there's Anita Cassandra, who was the one who just trashed our girl. Well, look who finally decided to show up. I won't be pulling any punches. Battle. Yeah, no problem. I mean, we have 113 combat skills, so... Oh, shit. Wow, we're actually losing. Holy crap, Anita! Wait a minute, this isn't supposed to happen. She's dodging everything. Oh no. But she has no magic points. She has very little magic reputation. I wonder if she's just weak against magic. Damn, oh shit, we might lose this one actually. Even if we do, it's okay. The, like, we might lose a little bit of our fighter rep even if we do lose, but it's not going to be too... Uh, it's not going to hurt us all that bad. Shit, man. Okay, we scored that hit. Come on, Neo Tengu, you can do it. Always hit, never be hit. Oh, Neo Tengu won! We got the, we got the judgment victory. This is so humiliating, I need to train more. Father, I won! Okay, 300 gold. Yeah, so that's gonna be the toughest fight we deal with. Um, we should be able to do fine with everything else. Now that fight shows why having some defense is probably good. 
Um, if I bothered to take the time to increase her defense, that wouldn't have been such a nail-biting fight. Um, but it's not really worth going out of our way to learn more defense at this point, unless we're just really bored. Uh, so I'm kind of fine leaving it the way it is. There is a way we can farm defense. I don't want to do that either. Okay. Oh god, okay. Come at me. With this guy, seriously, if you have trouble with photosensitivity and blinky lights, you may want to look away from this fight. I'll verbalize when it's over. But there's a lot of blinkies when he attacks. So... Okay, that was luckily just noise. Oh, good. Okay, the fight is over. He didn't get his ridiculous attack off. Excellent. 300 more dollars for just gaining cash, banking it away, getting fat stacks so she can learn how to be more pious before she compromises all of that in order to be more refined to get this ending. Okay, there's Salam again. So his deal is magic. Okay, Neotengu only took 41 damage. That's a lot better than last time. So as long as we trade blows, Neotengu will easily win here. Oh, and she kicked his ass. Good job. Good job, Neotengu. One left. Who's it gonna be? Muscle Havlar, ha Halvar again. Yeah, he, he usually uh, wins his side of the bracket because he's got so many hit points he usually can just outlast whatever the enemy does but he also doesn't hit very accurately so when your combat skill is this high these fights are usually automatic in favor of you they just take a minute since you can't wear him down completely unless you get some really good criticals in there Neotengu's delivered two crits, but that's probably not going to be enough. She's going to need a third crit if she wants to take him out. Yeah, he's he's surviving. But he can't do anything against Neotengu. She's too tough. She's using that demon blood she's got in her. Get him, Neotengu. There you go. Hey, she did it. She did knock him out. You don't get any additional reward for doing a knockout over a time victory, so it doesn't really matter. But we got the royal sword, we got second royal sword, we're gonna keep it. We got three thousand dollars, fighter wrap up by twenty. Everything's looking good. Neo Tengu's looking good. Um we're fine on faith, I guess. Let's do the Quorum class because we want to try to get refinement up and at over eleven thousand dollars we definitely have the money where we can do whatever we want she's really to the point honestly where we can pretty much just sleep the rest of the game um the only thing i need to do is go into the desert again and start killing shit especially innocence so we can drop her morality down to zero, but we've got plenty of time to do that. I don't need to do that right now. So instead, we're just going to do the classes we need to do to maximize our numbers and keep her protected. I mean, really what I should do, just for the sake of kind of min-maxing, is I should give her maximum defense. That way, when we keep getting into these fights, it'll just guarantee even more that she's going to win. Especially because now that she has a rival, that rival is going to keep coming after her every year. And that fight was a little closer than I wanted it to be. So, if we can get her defense up so she can start taking some of those shots better, so much the better. I don't think that will affect her ending as long as I can drop her morality. So, my plan here is to cap her decorum. She's about to do. There it is. Oh. I guess her cap isn't 100? It's 103. I don't know when she got more decorum. Oh, this dude. He probably gave us decorum. Or something. Dazzling Light. Paimon vanished. We got four points of artistry. Okay. So, I'm going to study... Decorum one more time. 
even though I don't think it'll help. And then we'll study painting twice. And we can cap artistry. That way I can, again, have some nice insurance numbers for what I need to do. Yeah, decorum isn't rising any higher. Paimon probably gave us three points of decorum, or someone gave us three points of decorum at some point. Um, I could also go after Renown now. I could talk to everyone in the castle since we uh, have the reputation and the decorum that we can talk to these, to, to the royals. But it's not worth it. It doesn't get us to where we need to be in regards to um, our ending. I believe the only ending that really matters for renown is if you're going for the princess ending. Um, and I also re-verified the princess ending is not the best ending. Um, princess ending is arguably the best end. It is arguably like the second or third best ending. But the queen consort is apparently the best ending. Um, although again, in a game like this, what, it, what exactly do you, do you define as best? I guess it's the canonical ending. And then there is a score, and the best score are the morally good ones. Um, but you know, it's not fun. So we're not going to talk to the king. We don't care about society. So we've capped our artistry at 104, capped our decorum at 103. Eloquence is still holding at 15, and we can't do anything about that. Refinement and Glamour are both at 260. Um, so Sin is over 250. All we need to do now is drop the morality because we can't let it be higher than 30. It has to be 29 or less. So let's do three errand trees to the Western Desert because I am certain that after that we will have all the money we're ever going to need. And I can even trade our excess faith for... Um, I mean, I guess we could do Refinement and Glimmer anyway. Because we do dr lose morality when we make that trade, so... Or no, we don't. Do we? Wait a minute, what am I even doing? Hold on, let's go into the main desert. This is where we'll find innocent people. We'll just stand in the sands, because we've got everything we need. I don't... I guess I don't need to make that faith trade anymore. I just... I didn't expect that I would already be at the thresholds I need in order to, uh, to get my ending, so... Alright, so yep, that just dropped her morality 15 points. Let's go. There we go. Thank you for your money. We're just gonna stand here again in the middle of the night, wait for the next innocent person to come along. Actually, I relocated to the town gates, because here you have a much higher chance of running into innocent people right outside the town gates. Yeah, like this little farmer guy. Yep, let's just kill him. Alright, our morality is down to 19. Now we're getting somewhere. Wow, the farmer actually has some has some hit points. But we stabbed him just the same. Don't think poorly of me. I should have read that. Wow, we got 200 bucks from that. Killing innocent people is profitable! Oh, I just realized fighting innocent people is dropping her faith, too. We don't want faith to get too low. Such an awful experience! Don't think too poorly of me, please. I managed to avoid your vital areas, so I think you'll survive if you find a doctor right away. Maybe. There's my Neo Tengu. Holy shit, we got $1,300. Okay. So now, I'm going to avoid slaughtering the innocent, because while having zero morality is great, I don't want to drop my faith more than I already have. I don't lose faith for slaughtering monsters, so we want to keep faith a little high. It's my lucky day. Got fairy nectar for 10 points of... It said glamour, but my refinement went up. Must be a typo. We took a couple big shots in some of these fights, so I'm going to trade some of my faith for stamina. The downside is doing this, her faith is now below her stress. So I'm going to have to be extremely careful in the next month 
and hope that it doesn't get too high. Now her chance of being a delinquent does change depending on if she has high stress, high sin, and a, or I think low morality. So that's a bad trifecta. Uh, if we can get out of this without her turning into a delinquent, then we should be all right. I just need to get her not to church because we don't want to lower her sin or raise her morality, but we do need to get her into the theology classes. And I'm probably going to just leave her in theology classes for the rest of a while because that'll get her her magic defense in addition to getting her faith up. If we can leave or if we can pull her faith up to about 200 while keeping her morality at zero, everything will be fine. But I need to do that balancing act and we got to get her home first. But I mean, while we're here, we may as well grind for money. It's not going to help me to come home early, so we're just going to sit here and grind for cash. But this is still only the second errantry of the month out of three. And when I do the third one, I will not trade my faith in because I don't want to make that number even lower. Another errantry victory, and now here comes the question. Daughter of the... Oh, wait. First this. Oh, Lady Valkyria, welcome. I praise thee for following my words and devoting thyself to thy training. Once more as a reward for thine efforts, I bestow upon thee a gift. A dazzling light enveloped the room, and in an instant, Valkyria had vanished. It feels like I gained some power. Neotengu's defense increased by five. Excellent. We need those numbers. Okay. Even if she becomes a delinquent, it's not an automatic thing that she's going to get. Hor like, the worst case scenario is she becomes a delinquent and she gets arrested. But her stress and faith are so close, she is not a delinquent yet. And even if she becomes a delinquent, there's not a guaranteed chance she'll be arrested. So since she's not a delinquent now, we definitely need to take advantage. So we're going to first get her some time off. And then she is going to study theology twice. And that should be enough to pull us out of where we need to go. Or any, any sort of danger zone. We have all the money in the world. We can give her pocket money from now until forever. Now she has no stress, and now I'm aiming to get her faith up to about 200, but really the main way I can do this is I'm just going to have her study theology until her magic defense caps out, because that's really the important thing here. I mean, having the faith is great, having the magic defense is equally great, if not more important, because then we can guarantee victories anytime we fight anyone or anything. Um... And already her faith's up to 117. So that's what we want to do. And we've got all the money in the world. I mean, 12 grand is enough to do basically everything anyway. Um, I mean, I don't think 12 grand will literally cover her all the way to until she turns 18. But it's definitely going to cover her enough to get her faith higher. And definitely cover her enough for me to start even working on other optional things like getting her standard, her physical defense up. I mean, look at that. Her faith's already up to 151. So I think we're going to be all right. And we're at 20 minutes almost and 19 now. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is going well. Oh, here's Mia, yet another dual champion, so that's fine. So if we wanted to go down the magic path, we could be fighting these fights with magic rather than fight, rather than physical attacking. Um, that would get us magic reputation. However, that is not what we want. We specifically need fighter reputation in order to get the ending that I am currently chasing. So just keep working on your theology for now, Neo Tengu. Keep, uh, keep, keep reading the good book, and then behind everyone's back you can wipe your butt on its pages. Either way, it gets us what we need. See, we already got our faith up to 200. That was probably the better move. 
doing theology early, I mean, working at the church early makes sense because you need to get morality and faith up there and it doesn't cost anything. But once you are generating an income, unless you need morality up there, you should probably just study theology and then you can use your faith to trade in for glamour or refinement. It's a good idea. I'm, I'm learning the system even more. Because that's the thing, learning the system is what lets you seek out any ending and make a plan before you even go for it. And I'm actually tearing through money faster than I thought I would. I mean, the theology class is just getting more and more expensive, but it's fine. I'm only concerned about capping magic defense. Faith is way higher already than it needs to be. I could use it to trade in for things, but I don't really need to i guess next time we go to the western desert we could trade we could start trading faith for stamina so we increase our hit point pool which will just even further ensure that we win every single fight um because that's how we're gonna make a chunk of our cash every year right that makes sense so I think this year is going to go fairly quickly, so I'm just going to let the episode go. Alright, so yeah, so our goal here is cap out magic defense, just to cap it, just to be done with it. Um, and then I'll do a numbers check when she turns 15 here in a month, and make sure we're still on pace. She might be at every number that I need now, but I want to re-verify. Okay, is magic defense capped? Magic defense is capped. So we do not need to study theology anymore unless I really want to crank up the faith in order to cash it in. So actually, let's do a numbers check now then. So refinement, more than 200. Glamour, more than 200. Morality, less than 29. It is zero. Sin, since morality is zero, it only needs to be 100, but it is 250, so we could have morality higher than zero. Fighting reputation, more than 210, which it is. Artistry plus eloquence needs to be more than 80, which it is. And artistry is capped. Eloquence I cannot gain right now. So we've done it. We have achieved the exact numbers for the ending. And she's not even 15. Holy crap. Like, what else? There's nothing I need to do now. Um... Let's give her a couple vacations and free time. I mean, we can just basically let her take the whole of, fi of 15 off. Um, I'm going to do the ocean and the mountains here because these CGs are available on the main menu. Um, I don't think there's an achievement for unlocking them all, but I'm just... I'm just going to do it anyway for funsies. Um, bearer of the necklace. We just got 15 points of refinement, glamour, and sensitivity each. Here's some pocket money, even though you don't need it. Um, now your stress is zero. Excellent. Fortune teller. We don't need your advice. Daughter is now 15. She can work at a sleazy bar. Now, I don't think sleazy bar gets me eloquence. Sleazy bar does not get me eloquence. I get eloquence from the normal bar. I mean, I could send her there. Can she work at the normal bar? She can work at the normal bar. I mean, just for the sake of getting eloquence up, I, I guess I could do that. Let's make sure nothing goes down that I don't want it to go down. Her intelligence drops, but who cares? Her cooking's going up, but who cares? Um... The only downside to her cooking going up is that's also increasing her housekeeper, house housework reputation. And that could lead to other endings. Um, except morality and sin override your reputations. So I'm going to leave her working at the bar. I want to just get her eloquence up again for security, for insurance. I mean, just because you use a wiki... And FAQs doesn't mean they're always 100% accurate. And so I'm just thinking that, like, maybe they both have to be 80? I doubt it. But 
maybe they both have to be 80. So if they both have to be 80, then we want eloquence to go up. So I'm just going to keep her working at a bar because I don't need her anywhere else. And there's no reason to risk any other numbers going up. So we'll just work her at the bar until her eloquence caps. And this is just getting a little bit of extra cash in our pocket. I'm going to time skip to when we finish the tournament. Neo Tengu once again you? takes a victory. She had to fight her rival and it was not a close fight. It was the opposite of a close fight. It was a complete beatdown. So Neo Tengu definitely knows what she's doing. What the? Please, sir, allow me to take your daughter's hand in marriage. <laughs> this is but a small token of my feelings. Fuck off, she's 15. Hey, see, that's too bad. I'll call on her again when I've become a man worthy of her. The suitor left behind $900. Okay. Wow, you certainly are popular with a gentleman, my lady. I don't know what, what number is causing that to happen, but whatever. We're not worrying about that crap. What was I doing prior to that horse shit? Uh, I guess we'll work on martial arts because we've capped magic defense, so let's go cap uh, normal defense now, and we'll just keep going from there. Um, I literally... Oh, I was working at the bar. That's right, to get her eloquence up. How could I forget that in three seconds? Anyway, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, this is probably more important since I've got her fighting so much. So we will chase... Oh, uh, but, but she's good on defense now and... Uh, I was saying before the time skip, just in case the FAQ or the wiki is wrong, just to shore up my points, I was going to gain more eloquence. Yeah, let's do that. So we'll just work at the bar. I remember now. So we're going to work at the bar until we cap eloquence. We're not going to run out of money since the bar is going to pay us. So the rest of her 15th year here, dropping my timer remote... Is she's just gonna work at a bar. She's gonna get very stupid, but that's fine. For the ending we're chasing, she does not have to be smart at all. I'm just going to let the episode go because we still have about three minutes left in it. It just feels strange that, you know, we had those middle episodes take so long because of the Aaron tree, and now we're just. We're where we need to be. It's so strange. I, I guess I could... I guess I could go after some of the CGs I'm missing. I want to actually record or write that down for myself, which CGs I'm missing. Because there's... Th there's like... <sighs> there's two places you can go on vacation... And each one of those is per season. So, like, there's four mountain vacations per year you can take. And four summer vacations, or four ocean vacations you can take by seasons. So you would need a lot of money or a little bit of planning to get all of those. You probably don't need them in one playthrough. I mean, you definitely don't need them in one playthrough. But, um... I would have to plan it out to make sure I get everything. I'll have to mess with my... I'll have to make a checklist for myself. Anyway, that doesn't matter. Uh, right now we're just working at the bar. I wish I could fast forward this. There is no... Um, there is no... Oh shit, her stress is 405? I didn't even notice her stress was that high. The only reason that didn't bite me in the ass is because of her very high faith. But now her stress is higher than her faith. So we're just going to let her take a ton of time off with my <laughs> with pocket money. I'm sorry, Neo Tengu. I was not I was completely neglecting your stress level. How did your stress get that high? 
Maybe going to the- maybe working at the bar stresses her out that much? Hold on, I didn't even notice the stress numbers. Um... We'll, uh, we'll zero her out here. No, she doesn't need pocket money that time. Okay, so her stress is zero. And five points of stress a day? That is extremely high. Most jobs only give about three, if that. Um, ones like the church only gives one point of stress. Holy crap, well that would do it. Damn. And eloquence is not going up that fast, given how stressful this job is making her. Um, well, whatever. Oh, okay, well... Yeah, see, it looks like she's getting about two points of eloquence. No, maybe she's getting about one point of eloquence every two days. In other words, half of the day she works at the bar, she's probably getting eloquence. Um... It's fine, because these are still, at least according to the wiki, these are still just insurance numbers. Um, I don't need eloquence that high, but... Oh, now it didn't... Oh, there's, there's a point, finally. There's another point. There's another yeah. point. Yeah. So it seems about half the day as she works at the bar, she gains eloquence. So if that holds, she's going to need to work at the bar another 40 days or so. No, I'm sorry, 80 days. She'll have to work at the bar another 80 days or so in order to cap out her eloquence. But that's fine. We don't have anything else for her to do. And that's going to give us just a little bit of extra scratch. Just in case anything goes wrong here. And I'm going to have to do some sort of emergency maneuvers. But I think we're fine. I mean, the, the most important numbers are where they need to be. No, you're not marrying my daughter. Fuck off. Um... I forget what that does for you. I don't think that instantly ends the game. Maybe it does. I don't know. I didn't think it does. Okay. Uh, bar twice. I mean... We can... Now that I know how badly that stresses her out, I can keep her stress under control. Um... We just need to keep getting that eloquence up. It's going. I mean, I suppose it makes sense that if an ending depended on eloquence, they wouldn't make the numbers excessively high, since by the time you get here... No, stop asking for my daughter's hand and ma I mean, keep leaving the dowry, I'll, I'll take them- God, I've been watching way too much Bridgerton lately, so now I'm just thinking in terms of frickin' Bridgerton. Lady Whistledown is going to have a lot to write about after everything that my daughter is doing. But anyway, there's like about three of you who are listening to this who might get that joke, and the rest of you are just, it's way over your head. But it's fine. It's fine. I'm a Let's Play channel. This is not Pyro Falcon's Bridgerton review hour. All right, cooking is gonna cap before eloquence. Cooking shouldn't matter. Her social, or her housework reputation is gonna be high as a result, but I don't care. Um, it doesn't matter, we're just getting eloquence up. Eloquence is already up to 82, so I, I think this is the right play, just to make sure it caps, just to make sure I've got it. Um, but if, if it was, if it did come down to it, oh shit meant to give her money. If it came down to it, I mean, you would really have to jump on eloquence as soon as it became available. Because if, let's say there was an ending that specifically required eloquence to be especially high, especially with her stress level, you would have to jump on that immediately. So you could have her stay, um, like, so you could manage her stress while also pulling that number up. Good God. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Here's some money. Um, here's some more money. And now she's 16. We're not going to buy her a present because... The marriage endings, the special marriage endings override all other endings. 
So we don't want to accidentally have her like me enough that she's going to want to marry me. So we need to keep her at an arm's length. I don't need to buy her presents, especially at this point. And hi, oh, that's the douche who's going to give us some domestic points, probably in cooking. Uh, yup, cooking is now at 103. And does that mean she's a little tubby? She kind of filled out there. All right, we're, we'll, we'll send her on a summer vacation. The next episode will probably be the last one because I don't think I'm going to have to do any more errand trays. So we can probably just finish out the run in the next episode. Um, I'll make that judgment call once she turns 17. But there's not really a lot more to do. So I, I think we're ready to go. I think we're ready to finish. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for watching. I will see you again tomorrow for another episode, which may be the last episode of this run, at least. Let me know if you want more runs, people. Give me those view counts. Bye.